Hello everybody, this is John from Divas Old Gamers. This video, as you can probably tell, is Space Hulk Ascension. Now, I have finished the Imperial Fists missions. Um, then I completed the Ultramarines mission, which these guys are. They're the Ultramarines, as they are blue. Now, the Ultramarines are kind of the Romans in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. And they're kind of the most, well, more civilized and honorable chapters that you will find of the Adeptus Astartes. They are not the fanatical nuts of the Black Templars or the Vikings of the Space Wolves or the Bloodsuckers of the Blood Angels. Um, so because I have completed the entire Ultramarines uh, campaign, I have ranked up these guys quite a lot and I have accessed new weapons. So they, these are combi bolters, they are storm bolter and flamethrower which are quite awesome because these don't overheat as much as the regular storm bolters. They don't hold as much ammunition, 12 rounds per magazine and you get 4 shots with the flamethrower and obviously I've ranked up these guys stats as well and I also have a psyker or a librarian so you don't get librarians if you play with the imperial fists I don't know why but they, you just don't have access to a librarian um, now I'm starting this mission well I've already started as you can see my guys have all moved and I've deployed some of them this is quite should be a relatively easy mission. All I have to do is just kill 68 gene stealers. So, as you can see, there is a fuckload of gene stealers up there. Obviously, each blip representing a gene stealer. One of the good things about unlocking the librarian is I ranked him up as well. So I get psychic abilities. And I'll show you one of those now. <laughs> Oh yeah, Psychic Storm. I would have loved. I thought this guy was the genes uh, was my librarian, but he's not. He's just the sergeant. And given the fact that there's all of these gene stealers here, because his storm bolter will jam, what I will do is I'll swap him out for this regular Terminator here, who's on Overwatch, so he'll be able to shoot for quite a while. Right, so, let's go. They shoot, they shoot slower than a regular Storm Bolter, but that just means that they don't jam as much. So I still have all my guys on Overwatch. So now I can see him. Badass. As you can see, his Storm Bolter has almost jammed now. Which is not good. Right, now I think, yeah, that door is open, so I'll just show you the flamethrower. It's just like a regular flamethrower. Oh, is that a Broodlord? That's a Broodlord. Shit. Right, so I'll actually advance him back a little bit. Broodlords are big and they take a lot of punishment. If you read in the bottom right corner there, immensely strong, durable and agile melee fighters, dwarfing even the massive terminators. They have three hit points and they're immune to psychic attack, so I can't use this guy's ability, my librarian's abilities. Uh, I can't use the Psychic Storm to kill any of those, which is a shame. Right, so what I will do, even though my Sergeant is technically the better fighter because he has a Power Sword, um, Objective locked. this guy is actually more useful because his weapon will not jam. 
I didn't. I actually didn't want to reload that. Then I pressed the wrong damn button. Um, the ultramarines in close combat, well, my terminators especially, don't seem to be as good as the imperial fists were. I think, for some reason, the imperial fists are were quite a lot better in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Even the librarian. I've had several Terminators just stand there killing Gene Stealer after Gene Stealer after Gene Stealer, and uh, the Ultramarines don't seem to fare as well. Right. End turn. Because he's on Overwatch, he shoots first. So does he. See? He's jammed pretty much straight away. And he's too close to the Gene Stealer spawn. So I will have to step him back. Ooh. Oh, he took a lot of punishment. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to step Librarian back. Clear the jam. Reload him. And then this guy's pretty much cleared all of this by himself. Which is good. His power fist's lit up because he's close to some gene stealers. Stay right. Earth, I'll leave him there. So all I have to do now is kill 47 more. And because I don't know... what these blips are. I'll show you the uh, how effective that can be. There you go. That psychic ability is awesome. Alright. That was another brood lord. Crap. And of course he goes for my guy who's facing away and he just walks through all of that fire well considering I've had that guy for one and a half campaigns I'm not gonna let him die so next turn I will actually turn him around so he's facing the proper direction I have movement, brother. Oh yeah, I actually don't like this the camera in the corner. It detracts from the main screen. So I've upgraded my librarian, so he should be better in hand-to-hand -hand combat now. I'm hoping to upgrade my guys so I can get them to have... Uh, multi melters and plasma guns. Combi. So they'll still have uh, their Storm Bolter. <laughs> right, put him on that. I'll reload his Storm Bolter. His Storm Bolter has jammed, so you, you can't. Um, I can't give him a Combi Bolter. For some reason, but that then more than makes up for it. All right, so I'll advance him again. I have to wait till he stopped moving before I can select this guy. Affirmative. Put him back into Watch Overwatch. All right. Sorry about the snivelling. Right, because the fire here, uh, the Brood Lord couldn't advance. He's not fireproof. Watching for enemy contact. And because all I have to do is kill Gene Stealers. I'm not going to close off any of the spawn points. 
Now I know that that is a Broodlord. So hopefully the fire will damage him. I'm not too sure. I'll just advance him up a little bit. He needs reloading. Okay. Oh. That's free no shit right there. My bolter is jammed. They are close brothers. See, his bolts is jammed again. Which is really annoying. No, oh, no, there's going to be a door down here. So he's he's actually come the wrong way. Or I have taken him the wrong way, rather. All right, Let's reload. Now, because that's a brood lord, I can't use my sidekick abilities on him. Oh, thank fuck for that! That sucker was big. Oh, there's another one. Ooh. Normal gene state. Oh, there's another brood lord. No mercy. That's just a gene stealer. A confused gene stealer. Stone bolt is jammed. That's okay. Clear Reload, unjam, and clear jam. Right. Now, I don't know what these blips are. Maybe that's a brood lord. I'm not too sure. But because there's three gene stealers all here, then I shall Holding position. flame them. You kidding me? I have to come down through here. Yep, that's a brood lord. Fuck. I want to try and get to this before I kill them all, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to have to hold position. And uh yeah. Right. That's a feeder tendril gene stealer. Lobotomizes its prey by piercing the victim's brain with sharp tendrils. Uh, it targets special attack, target half AP and toughness. So these things are fucking annoying. See, so guy just pretty much stands there and can't defend himself. Although I have had men punching them in the face. And killing the gene stealer, which is always good. Now just zoom in, you see the gene uh, terminator properly. I've shown you in a previous video, you can customize how the terminators look. I've given them all helmets and stuff. Apart from the psyker, you can't change how the librarian looks. Alright, I have to shoot that big sucker, or at least try. point left and he's dead shit so these two are brood lords fuck tell you what I'll bring him down there like that put him onto overwatch and if they get too close then he can at least shoot as well right Sort your bolter out. You can have a psychic ability, which, as you see here, the number 16, 
is how much psychic points he has. Obviously, the, the stronger the power, the more psychic points it takes off him. But it also takes off uh, three action points from him. So, right. So there we go. Two storm bolts is now shooting at the brood lords. No mercy. Holy shit! I never thought that would happen. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna try my luck. And I'm not going to try and punch them in the face with the power of fist because that will just fail. What I will do, 81% chance, are you kidding me? He's right in front of you. Uh, what's that, 67? Hell no, you're going to shoot him. You will put your bolter in his face, in its face, and shoot it. And then reload afterwards. You're going to do the same, buddy boy. No, not with your power fist. I'm going to shoot him. Right, so I've only got 18 left to kill. There's another one down here. Missed, even though you just saw it hit him in the face there. All right. Oh, there's another brood lord and another one. Although he ran out of action points there, so he's had to stop moving. All right, change his magazine. The combi bolters shoot a lot slower, which is why they don't heat up as much and jam. That's terrible shooting. He's supposed to be a first company veteran. Right, because this guy has been getting all the kills. Yes, Commander. I'll just swap him over. Yes, Commander. Get him a bit of experience. Scanning for enemy movement. Reload. Oh watch. Reload. He's good. Librarian's good. Right, I don't have to move anybody. Right, I need to kill five more gene stealers. <laughs> I'll do this. Four. How many's here? One, two, three, four. That's yeah, four there. And then, boom. And my library ranks up as well. As you can see, I didn't deploy four guys, four of my guys. So I knew the mission would be like this, where I could just kind of camp the end of corridors and rooms and just let the gene stealers come to me. So my library, Severus, he killed 28. And then, oh, he only managed to kill three. Oh well, I've got three guys ranked up. I'll show you something cool that I've unlocked as well. Right, so Quintus. It's three levels away from unlocking the Combo Bolty Melter. Bolter Melter. <laughs> he can only get Power Fists. Alright, so this is where you upgrade your men. So I'll upgrade his toughness. 
and also his willpower. He doesn't really need willpower, it's mainly the librarian. And I shall upgrade his bolters, or bolter skill. And then his thing as well. Alright. Target in reticle. reticle. Alright. So, if you're going to load out, he's got his chain fist. He has a normal storm bolter. And he also has this. It's a cyclone missile launcher. So you can either fire frag rounds, crack rounds, which is armor piercing. And once I up, get him to level eight, which is currently five frag and crack rounds. Frag missiles are designed to kill multiple light armored foes. Crack rounds are designed to kill heavily armored foes. Uh, they are quite fun to use. All right. Whoa, that's a bit bright. Load out. Now nobody's near level eight yet. Five, he's six, six, seven. But he can only get a normal bolter, which is a shame. And I've unlo unlocked the power axe for him. And then if you can change his go to his skill. You can click Executioner, which you just see the Terminator's chance to hit with an axe is increased by 5%. When I have it on the Power Sword, it does the same for the Power Sword. Obviously, you have to have the Power Sword selected. And then I've unlocked all of these as well. But I'll stick, on, stick with the axe for now. Got the same for the Sergeant. Level 8, oh, level 6. He needs to rank up a bit more. Alright. Oh, I hate this kind of mission. I tried playing this type of mission in the first Space Hulk and I just couldn't do it. Because you guys were spread out all over the place. I hated it. Right, awaken two or more terminators, so I'm going to do all of them, and then exit with five or more. All right, end briefing. I've only got one. Oh, I see. They're my squad who are down already. Okay. Oh, so that means my librarian's down. Box received Crap armor. it. Faith and duty. Squad deployed. All right. You know what? I'm going to have this guy hold the corridor. There. I'm going to have my... Sergeant, shoot the door. Alright, I'm going to turn that off because I don't like that. I'm going to have these guys come down. And then deploy the last guy on that. I shall not fail. That's tile. Moving. Alright, so I'll just show you the men as they're down, lying face down on the floor. Step that guy back. Give him a bit of distance to shoot. <laughs> oh, and as you can see, there's lots of blips there already. Right. 
few blips there. Give him a bit more breathing space. Yes, Commander. And then put him on overwatch. Right, this guy, I'm gonna have him shoot the door. And he missed. Well, that sucks. My has failed me. There we go. Alright. Get up, you lazy bum. Right, so he's up, so he can't do anything this turn. I'm guessing he's a bit queasy. So that terminator is now useless. Put him on overwatch. Wake him up. He is now useless. And then. Do this. I have movement, brothers. He's gonna run out of ammunition. But he just killed a lot there. So just reload. And what I can do just to piss a few of them off. Let's flame the junction. I got one. It's better than none. Right, now this guy is now available to use. I'll just back him up. Open the door. Step back and put him on overwatch. And I'll put that guy on overwatch. I don't think if the Gene Steelers come in, I don't think they'll attack him. Well, I hope not anyway. Haste. Right, bring these guys down. I'll just save it. End turn. Yeah, no, they didn't attack him. <laughs> Which is good. If that was a normal storm bolter, he'd have been overheated by now, and then I would have had to spend a point on clearing the jam. Yes, my lord. Which is not what I want to do. Clear a path. Let's step him back. One more. So he's covering. The enemy will fall. Covering that. I'll move him there, alert, and then brothers. he can go on Overwatch. All right. Brood Lord. Actually, you know what? I'll show you how the cyclone works. Well, I can't show you this turn, but I'll show you next turn. Just reload him. Bring him down, put him on overwatch. Reload. I'll use this guy to wake him up. Get up, buddy. All right. I've got Gene Steelers coming this way as well. All right. End the turn there. He 
these combi bolters are so much more reliable. Right. So I'll move him there. Reload. Yes, brother. Moving. Death Boom. Didn't kill him. Dang it. <laughs> no, wait, you should fight here. You know what? I don't have to put him on a watch now. There's not enough there. Plus, there's too big a distance for them to run. So he will be fine. Right, so this guy is now awake. So now I have to start thinking about doing a fighting withdrawal back to these guys ooh that's the librarian they would have to put the most hand useful guy last won't they <laughs> fuckers alright ah oh To Overwatch. Okay. Alright, I just hope that none spawn straight into this guy because he probably can't defend himself from that if they do. Moving to target coordinates. So I can't put him on over. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, thank God for that. Right. If they come running down here, they won't run past him. They'll run into him, so he can cover his back. Uh, that demonstration failed slightly, <laughs> and then I'll have this guy hold the corridor. All right. And then number four. Alright, now hopefully they'll be able to demonstrate Nine better. Enemy inbound. There we go. Saw him explode. Or saw it explode, rather. There, that one, not so much. Still a bit of a letdown. Right, because I don't have enough points to put in one overwatch, I'll just block the corridor. Bit of fire. And get a kill at the same time. Sweet. Alright, reload this guy. Advance him down there, bring the sergeant behind him. Have that guy come down, wake him up. Alright, so he'll be ready next turn. Advance him into there. Make sure to put him on Overwatch. Put him on Overwatch. And end turn. Huh. 
hostile targets ahead. Seriously, you missed? You shall be cleansed. Nice. They will fall. That was an acid. Yes, come Gland on. gene steal or something like that. Well, he exploded and took out all the other gene stealers around him. <laughs> Taking position. Right, now as there's no gene stealers here, uh, I can actually... Well, no gene stealers close enough, I can actually just move my guy straight down. This power fist is still ignited for some reason. Moving to target coordinates. Alright. So I'll move them there. He can come down and wake the librarian up. Clear a path. So what I can do is bring this guy back a couple of tiles. <laughs> Have him there, he can still cover his back as I retreat him. So now they're probably going to start coming down this corridor because that's where I have to get to to escape once I've woke the librarian up. Oh. Select him first. Securing position. Right, no, there are no gene stealers close enough, so I can... Acknowledge. Actually, that might have been a mistake. Right, he can't defend himself with his bolter, but at least he can... Uh, hopefully punch one in the face, Watching if need be. Alright. Stomp, 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 turn around. The enemy will fall before me. Now, they can c probably come out of here, but they can definitely come down here. Clear a path. <laughs> can they? No, they can't. Shit. Actually, yes, they can. Scanning for enemy movement. They can come through there. Alright, you don't need to be there anymore so you can turn around and walk away. Huh. Alright. There's the first Gribbly. Yep, there they come. Overwatch, if you please. Moving ahead. All right. Can he use any psychic abilities? Yes, he can. It doesn't affect your own guys. Fortunately. Hmm, now, this decisions, decisions. If I put him there, he might be close enough to block this. Which one will it be? This one. But then that doesn't always happen. So I think for this turn, I'll just have to. Resuming fire. Clear his bolter and put him on overwatch move you down all right oh shit 
Yeah, you got a right course. A bit too close. All right. Crap, they're both normal storm bolters. But that's okay. That's okay. Clear a path. Taking position. No, it didn't block it off. Securing position. Holding position. What I want to do is to bring my librarian closer. So I can do that. Shit. Broodlords. Shizer, 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 Shizer. Put you on Overwatch. Reload, he only had nine rounds left in his bolter. So this might be a time where I have to reload. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Well, obviously I'm not having any of that. It looks like he might have just killed those Broodlords. Not too sure. Oh crap, I didn't save to after all this. Alright, well I won't make you watch till I get all the way back down to here then. I'll pause the video here and then I'll start restart it once I get back, get my guys back down to there. Okay, so back to where I was before, almost back to where I was before. The librarian is up. I've moved him a little bit closer. I still have my terminators back here. Uh, because they're so far away, I will actually run these guys and then have him come back like that. And then he can still advance backwards one tile. The enemy will fall and then puts him onto Overwatch. Now, I did just use a Psychic Storm. I just killed some Gene Steamers here. A couple here, and one up there. I think that's a Broodlord. Well, I should have to wait and see. Right, so... I'll save it there so if I have to restart I don't have to bloody do all that again. Only took me a couple of minutes but there's no point making you guys watch it. Oh that's a, that's a Broodlord as well. Oh shit. Well, at least he's finished his turn there. He ran out of action points. But because he has stopped Beware. this Broodlord from moving, next time this Broodlord moves, he's going to be on full points. That's where a crack missile could come in handy. I'm going to have to be careful now. I'll flame it. Watching for enemy and then I'll put contact. him on Overwatch. Now I am tempted to use Psychic Storm. Hopefully, that means that there's nothing behind it, so. Right, he's run out of ammunition, reload him, puts him back on overwatch. There's a clump of gene stealers, or just two there. 
There's going to be two more coming down this uh, vent shaft. Target. That's uh, a Broodlord. Shit, all the big boys are coming out to play today. Right, I need this guy to kill him. That's a brood lord, yeah. Right. He might not have any points left to go on Overwatch. No. So what I'll have to do is bring the Librarian down. Shit. Bring him down. Clear apart. Have him take a step back. Give himself a bit more breathing space. So I don't know what this one is. That might be a brood lord, it might not be. I'm My hoping it's not. And I can't tell oh. oh I can I can actually hit quite a few of them. That's just an order, a normal feeder tendril gene stealer. Alright, so I'm gonna have to pull this guy back. Like so. Turn him so he doesn't waste a point next turn. Clear a path. One more space. Securing position. And then overwatch. You have to be careful about doing stuff like that so you keep count of how many steps you're taking and stuff. Hopefully put somebody off from coming through there. Overwatch. Put him back onto Overwatch. You know what? One more for good measure. Going into Overwatch. Alright. I know I got everybody into position there. I'll save it again. All right, see how it goes. Holy shit. <laughs> In your face. <laughs> All right, so the what, one, two, three, four gene stealers there. I will help this guy a little bit. Uh, I can't cover both. So what, what I can do now is put him on overwatch, reload him, shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Now, because I'm going to need my librarian psychic powers, what I will have to do, I'm going to have to run these guys out anyway. Put him on overwatch, reload, which has taken off the heating from his weapon. Yes, Commander. Then I shall have this guy come along. Or maybe actually I should have used this man instead. My aim is true. Hey what? Can I fight no, I can't fire a missile into there. Because there's no target. Overwatch. I'll put him on overwatch. 
Uh, I don't know if anything comes out of there if he'll shoot at you as well. Hopefully he will. Moving. Yes, brother. Moving. Overwatch. Right. All right. Now, because he's entered in the green square, there's a green circle. Sorry, he's blocked off that spawn point. And then <laughs> meditate. No, oh, he can't use any more psychic points. Dang it! That's going to be a brood lord. That's a fucking brood lord. Oh, thank you. Phew. That's good long range shooting. Good stuff. Right, so I'll teleport him away. I'll teleport him away. I won't teleport him. But I will put him on Overwatch because I've just seen that they can come down this corridor. I'll run him down. I'll run him down. In your face. And then I'll put this guy there. Bring him back. Watching for enemy contact. All right. Oh, no. No, come on. Seriously, motherfucker. I was going to flame down that crowder because he had one action point left. Bastard. All right. Multiple targets acquired. Cleanse and burn. That's uh, that's typical space hulk. That. Okay. All right. Shoot him, please. Shoot him. Advance one spot. You fry these. And step over there. Burn. Just go in for now. Now, because I know what, how to do it, Objective it won't take me as long to get back to where I should have been before. Oh, why have you turned around, Nobber? Yes, brother. Move. Ow! I'm sure I've done that. Get back over there. Yes, Commander. You advance. You can't move anywhere, so I'll put you onto Overwatch. True. Come back quickly, save this again, so I don't have to do all that. Because that was a stupid thing for me to not do. Alright, end, end turn. It's a shame I can't just randomly fire into there. My bolt has failed <laughs> That's because you didn't pay attention to how you're shooting.
Advance, brothers. Affirmative. Holy testicles. You know what, what I can do? Just to be cheeky. I can advance these Secure guys down. Position. Which then allows me to be closer to where I want to zap. That's only going to get two of them. Which I'd prefer to get a lot more to be honest, but hey ho. I'll just put that guy onto Overwatch again, and then I'll flame. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Flame into there. Turn that guy around. Shoot that guy if I can. The enemy will fall. So we're cleansing and burning. Like the Spanish Inquisition. Clear a path. Do do do. Put him on Overwatch. My ah, fuck control. it. I'll put him into Overwatch, even though it won't make any difference. And that's that. My has failed me. You fired one burst. Seriously. Oh crap. Typical. Securing position. He's right friggin' in front of you. Right, he's got two more. I don't know if that's gonna double up the damage for him, but we'll see. Yes, brother, moving. Yes, brother, moving. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. Left up My path. bad. Scanning for enemy movement. Alright. <laughs> so his bolt is jammed already. This guy's fucking useless with the bolter. He's supposed to be a sergeant. Right. So I'll put him onto there to block the grid. I'll find one more burst into there. Yeah, I don't know if that, because he's outside, I don't know if that's any, having any effect whatsoever. Clear to fire. Clear, clear. My aim is true. They are close, brothers. Zeno's contact spotted. Again, one burst and he's overheated. Come on. Because it's a br brood lord, he's not affected by the psychic attack. Securing position. Securing position. Yep, he can advance one more step back. Which will give me a bit more shooting time for when the Breed Lord comes stomping around the corner. 
There it is. Multiple targets acquired. Right. Alright, take him off Overwatch and then he yes, can just go will. straight onto there. Affirmative. Put him there. Because as he moves, his weapon cools down. So it ungems itself, which is handy. Holding position. Overwatch. Clear of path. Overwatch and then hopefully. There's nothing here. There's only one target there. There's nothing here. So they should next turn just all to be able to run to the finish line. Yep. Yes. Right, so these missions are actually the Blood Angels campaign. But you can carry on your squads from one campaign to the next, which is how you level them up completely. Because you won't be able to level your guys up to level at least level 8 in one campaign by itself. Unless you take a week to play a single mission, you just stand there killing Gene Stealers. To get the level to the, uh, the points. Maximus. He killed 24 by himself. Librarian killed 20, 22. Second highest. Okay guys. I'm going to leave it there. Um, don't want. It's probably gone on long enough. So I shall leave it there. Let me know what you think. Let me know which chapter you prefer. Or which race. In the Warhammer 40,000 universe. And leave it below. Leave a comment, suggestions, tell a friend, subscribe. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.